Hi, it's Darnell with Whale and Recipes, and today I'm going to be making a light whole wheat sourdough bread using diastatic barley malt flour in that instead of vital wheat gluten, which I often use in my breads, my whole wheat breads. I'm going to be using the Zosirushi Virtuoso Plus bread maker to make that up. I have found that the diastatic barley malt flour works well with sourdough breads. It does not work well with breads where you're just making like a whole wheat bread on the usual whole wheat setting. But for sourdough it works very well. It seems like it really needs that extra time in sourdough to work well. If you're doing like a bread that is just like a regular whole wheat or something, vital wheat gluten works much better in my experience. So going to go ahead and start this out and show you how it's done and going to be using Zoshirushi's basically their light sourdough starter and well their sourdough starter and their light sourdough bread recipe to uh, make this up so this is basically just a small variation on theirs it's not my own creation just to be clear just a small variation of flours that I'm going to be using but let's get cooking right now okay so to get started here making the sourdough starter First, want to make sure that you know you need to have your paddles in the same direction so that your loaf comes out even. And you do that before you put the pan in. If they move after you put the pan in, it's okay because the agitators are locked in the same position. You'll still be fine. But the first ingredient is 360 milliliters of water. A tough one to get out, but there it is. Next ingredient is two cups of whole wheat flour, so pour that on in. For the diastatic barley malt flour, it's good to use about a teaspoon per cup. So I use a teaspoon per cup. So putting in two teaspoons of that, putting that here on the side, that's one. And put the other one here on the other side of there. And I'm going to use the end of the spoon to make a little well to add my yeast in a moment. The last ingredient for the sourdough starter is two teaspoons of yeast. You can use a rapid rise yeast or bread machine yeast. It's up to you. So put those in the little well in the middle like that so it doesn't immediately interact with the other ingredients. And going to close up here. And now I'm going to use a sourdough starter course. So that's number 12. So going down to number 12 and hit start and it'll go ahead and make the sourdough starter. I'll bring you back. All right, it's uh, finished making the dough. So that takes a little over two hours to do the dough phase. You're supposed to immediately start putting in the rest of the ingredients to make the light sourdough bread. So continuing on with the rest of the ingredients now, going to open up first is two and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar so just pour that right in there like that next is one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice so just pour that on in there next is three cups of whole wheat flour so pouring that on in next is three teaspoons of diastatic barley malt flour since we use three cups of whole wheat flour Next is two tablespoons of a granulated sweetener. I'm using a urethra monk fruit blend. Use the one of your choice. Next is a teaspoon and a half of salt. So putting some sea salt on the sides here. Next I make a well for my yeast here. And two more teaspoons of the yeast go right in there. Remember you can use bread machine or rapid rise yeast. We'll close up. And now I'm going to set the course. I'm going to go to course one for, even though this is wheat bread, use the white bread setting for this uh, basically light sourdough bread. Gives it a medium crust and so really overall it's just five minutes longer than the whole wheat and so this goes for hours basically. Over uh, over three hours is how long this takes so hit the start with that if you're curious about all the 
different phases and how long they take. You'll have to get the recipe book that details it. But we'll let this run. I'll bring you back later. All right, so this is done. I'm hitting cancel button there. And what I was suspecting, you know, might be the case has turned out to be true that this is going to need more water. I wanted to try it without adding more water, but whole wheat flour often needs more water. And I was just wondering if I could get away without adding more and see what I get, but I did need more water. I didn't put any in this one, so I'm going to show you how it looks as is without adding more water to it. And uh, the finished product you get is basically a loaf that's not not as complete or well risen as you want. It looks kind of chunky. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Let's see. Um, if I can get it out. There we go. Let me get this big pan out of the way real quick. And we'll turn that over. As you see, it's uh, not good. So, what I am going to do. To uh, make this better, I'm going to redo the whole thing, the whole recipe. The only difference when I redo it, I was thinking about using two cups of water because 360 milliliters is about a cup and a half. So I was thinking about using two cups, but this looks so bad, I'm thinking I might use two and a half cups to be safe. I'm going to use two and a half cups because I'm thinking that just a half cup is not going to be enough. The way this thing is looking, it came out kind of rough, really rough. So, I'm going to redo it. Mm, boy, it's like tough though. I want to go up to two and a half cups. I'm going to try two cups. I'm still going to try two cups and see if the, it works out. Because if I do two and a half, it might be too much and wash things out. So, I'm going to do two cups of water exact same recipe all the way except two cups of water instead of the 360 milliliters and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we get from that I'll just bring you back at the end of that one so that you see how the loaf looks when you use two cups of water all right so the bread just finished and it looks really good this time two cups of water is definitely the correct amount to use. I'm just hitting the cancel button to fully shut it down even though it had already ended the cook. But I need to move this so that I can dump the bread out. And I do know that with like whole wheat, and I've done plenty of videos on this channel that you can see with this bread machine before. I know with whole wheat it typically needs more water than with white. But I wanted to just kind of do the recipe as is and see what I get to be able to gauge moving forward and I'm glad I did two cups of water this time to uh, see how that would go it went much better so just gonna get the loaf out All right, I'm gonna set the pan aside and then turn that loaf of bread over alright so here we go that looks like a decent loaf of light sourdough bread. Keep in mind we're talking about sourdough bread so no this is not going to look like your nice soft exterior bread of uh, I've done like a full white bread here on the channel and other types of breads if that's what you want but this sourdough is always going to have kind of a harder crust on the outside while it has a soft inside so came out nice this time Gotta let it set and cool down. It just cuts easier if we let things cool down. And so I'll bring you on back. Alright, so it's had time to cool down. I just covered it with a paper towel while it cooled down. So just removing that and going to go ahead and get into my bread slicer. And if you're interested in the bread slicer, there's a link to the Amazon shop in the video description but nothing in this video was borrowed, given, donated or any of that type of stuff to me in any kind of way. No reimbursements or kickbacks either. 
I stay independent, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the bread. Alright, so it's all cut. I need to turn off my water distiller. Sorry, I didn't realize it's still on. And the water distiller still works great. And so well, sometimes I forget. I even still have it running, because <laughs> I'm using it all the time. And there's reviews of the water distiller here on the channel. But we see how the bread looks on the inside. You can tell me what you think about that. So now I'm going to take a slice here. Well, this one I think I kind of cut kind of thin. But I guess instead of having like an end cut, I was going to get one of these interior slices. And uh, it's pretty light and fluffy bread. You see how it's pretty nice thin bread. So it turned out pretty good. I'm going to put it on this plate here and we'll do a quick taste test. So thank God for the bread. And let's go ahead and taste. Alright, so it turned out nice. It's got that uh, kind of crisp exterior, but the inside is very soft, moist. It tastes good. It's good bread. It makes for decent sandwich bread or what have you. So the light sourdough bread with whole wheat in the uh, diastolic barley malt flour. Yeah, barley malt flour. I want to make sure I get that right. But with all that, using two cups of water, all turns out real good. And you see the difference. You see, you know, if you get a loaf that doesn't come out right even though you put the paddles in right and you see it looks kind of chunky looking you know what to do you know you probably just need a little more water to smooth things out and so I hope that this works out for you as well if it's something you're interested in if you haven't seen it I did spelt flour with the light sourdough earlier I can say that using the diastolic barley malt flour with that works out very well too just um, whether you're using whole wheat or spelt use one teaspoon per cup of the flour. If you're using like white flour then you don't need anything but I don't use that. So you know choices are yours it's all up to you. But in the video description there are lots of ways to help the channel such as my cookbook, merch, membership, donations. As I mentioned the link to the Amazon shop where you pay the same price but help the channel. And also you can always check out my blog superwaveovenrecipes.com that's superwaveovenrecipes.com and so, with all that said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and good eating.